Today we have a special guest that's going to join us in steps three, or actually step three of the scientific method process. Welcome our new student, our new guest, Katie Keck. Miss Keck, you're my favorite. Ow. Well, good morning, Katie. How are you? Oh, I'm a little tired, but you know, I'm ready. I, you're, you just bring that energy to me, Mrs. LaRue. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, well, thank you to, for our, our freak show here today. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over step three of the scientific method process, uh, which is the, ac well, you know, it's the uh, acronym ARFTAD. ARF, ARF, ARFTAD. ARF, ARF, ARF. I just love that. I know. It's so funny. <laughs> okay. And uh, we're, we're going to do the F. F form the hypothesis. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to teach you a little bit more information about the uh, step three, form a hypothesis. And uh, we're going to actually go through a scientific method problem, aka could be a science fair project. All right. Does that I, sound good? I'm really excited about this. Mrs. All right. Zero. I'm glad. I'm glad. Okay, so form a hypothesis. Um, this is the prediction. Uh, what you think is going to happen okay uh, based on your research so now you came up with a problem okay okay um and so you researched the problem something right. that you were really wanting to know based on your qual and quan yes i and i have done my research i'm really good at research okay good i'm so glad to hear that all right so we're going to use uh, that and you did your research yes okay so now you know that it's a good problem to create a an experiment on correct yes I believe so okay all right so um, what we're gonna do is uh, what would you what is it that you researched well I just kind of researched the history of Hershey's and the Tootsie Roll um, so I researched candy really because I really love candy. oh my gosh who doesn't love some candy yeah my favorite is Reese's you know Reese's um, no, okay, there's many, there's many facets, okay? We got Fast Break, we got the Big Cup, we got Reese's Pieces. Which one of those, are, Katie, what did you think? Which one? Definitely the cup. The Definitely cup. Definitely the Reese's cup. Okay, the cup. Yep. Okay. All right, well, good. So uh, what were you thinking about doing with that? Well, it, it's really hard because I just love the candy. I really want to eat it. Yeah. But I just can't think of a, of a way to be able to do that. So I'm thinking big and I'm thinking blow it up. Blow it up. Blow it up. Okay. I'm, let's go all in, Mrs. LaRue. Let's blow it up. Okay. So through your research, did you possibly see that maybe chocolate is reactive to another element or peanut butter? Is there just, or were you just curious to see if it could mix with something and get a chemical reaction in the form of boom? Right, that would be really cool. So, like, yeah. I was really thinking fire, but I mean, Ooh, that combustion? would help just yeah. to see if it would blow up if I had put a flame to it. Is kind of oh. what I was thinking. Ooh. Like, because that's all you really need Ooh. So, to blow something. Well, let up, me ask right? you this now: Did you do a lot of research, Mrs. Larue? I thought I did. Well, let's see how we did. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. It's okay. Um, because I know last year you did a really cool experiment uh, with the powdered milk. Yes. And so I think that you probably thought that there is milk that's in chocolate, right. milk chocolate. Um, right. So I'm, I'm totally with you because we know that dry milk is... Definitely combustible, yes. Absolutely. So I can definitely see how you would think that because right. that's what's in chocolate. But now that you've reminded me of that, I really don't see because it was... It only combusted if it was in the dust form. I had to throw Ooh. it. Oh. And so I think maybe I, I can't really throw a Reese's cup to make it into dust, right? And can we, can, can we change it from that solid state to a dust form? It would be pretty difficult. Would it? It wouldn't be very fun. All right. Because then my hands would be all messy. I guess I could lick my 
hands. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. Okay, so we, this is, and, and you know what, it's, it's common to think that you did a good job on research, but we'll see how, how it worked out. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to uh, the next page here. Okay. Okay, so the testing group, all right, this is the group that you are manipulating and that's a big fancy word isn't it Katie I mean that's a big word that's Manipulate. yeah it's, yep. so really what it means is this is what you're changing oh oh on purpose oh that's easy yeah that's okay easy. and this is what we call the IV the IV is what is being tested or what we say is being changed oh I remember talking about this last year with Mrs. Keck and Mrs. Darren that is right all right so the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, okay, um, what is it that you were wanting to change? Well, I guess what we could do, instead of a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup blowing up, because I would want to do it right now, and that seems like it might be a little hard. I think maybe, what if we did a Reese's Cup Oh, what if we put it in a substance, like either water, vegetable oil, um, Oh, I like where you're going syrup, with this. Okay. And we see how that substance uh, melts the peanut butter cup. When we add heat. When we add heat, correct. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what we could change, we could change the liquids, the couldn't liquid we? The liquid substances. There we go. I love it. Okay. I'm getting excited, All right. Mrs. All right. Leroux. Okay. Now, I just kind of want to do an example here, just kind of help you out with the process, okay? Okay. So let's say that um, I love birds. Do you like birds? I like birds. Yeah. Do your favorite They're bird call. Watch. Do your favorite bird call. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. Cool, Okay. Cool. Yeah, and birds are cool, and they're fun to watch. They are fun to watch. Okay. They go back so, and forth, back and forth. Yeah, that's right. They do. Okay. So what if you did a science fair uh, experiment? Okay. Let's say it's science fair time. And actually, we had a student who went pretty far with this idea. Um, and he had different, uh, what he did is he changed the type of food. Oh, bird, he did. bird, bird seed. Yeah, bird okay. seed. Absolutely. Um, so he changed the bird seed. Okay. Okay. All right. So going along that lines, what could you measure? Well, if you're measuring bird seed, it's obvious. If you're changing I mean, bird it seed, it seems yeah. like you would measure how much the birds ate. Very good. So we were trying to see which one they preferred. That's a good idea. Yeah, That's not a really good not idea. best, right? Because best is so right opinionated, right? Right. All right. So yeah, see which one they prefer. So what you would do is you would measure the mass of the bird seed at the beginning. Okay. And then. During the uh, the experiment, at the end, you would measure how much is left. Okay. Okay. And we would change the bird seed and see which one did the birds seem to feed on the most. Wow, I really like that experiment. Yeah. So along with that, with the peanut butter cup, and we change the liquids. Do you see what I'm That's saying? That's our independent variable. Is That's changing our... the liquid or changing the type of bird seed? Correct. Or the brand of bird seed. The, the the yes okay and then in your what you're measuring in your Reese's peanut butter cup would be the time it takes to melt that would be one great way to measure absolutely okay. uh, what's another test I would say that's the best one okay I like that Can yeah you think of another one um you know what I think I think that would be the best okay me okay <laughs> All right, so the DV is what you desire. It's what you're being me what you're measuring. Okay. Okay, so very good. So the time and then the mass of the bird seed. Right, right, right for those two examples. So now, control is really hard for kids to get. I really just don't understand control group. Okay, so control is when you have no IV, no independent variable. But Mrs. LaRue, sometimes that doesn't make any sense. Right, so the bird seed... So if you put a bird feeder out there with no bird seed, are they going to come? No. Okay. There's going to be no mass to start with. It just doesn't make sense. Right. So what would you do in this that case, the norm? Mrs. LaRue, I don't know. That's why I just don't get control. Okay. All right. So in this case, what you do is use the bird seed that, that people normally get. You get it? The norm? Oh, so like 
the most popular brand yes. of birdseed would be the control. And you would find that in your research, right? Yes. There you go. All right. Now, in your Reese's peanut butter cup, and you're wanting to change the liquids. Okay. Okay. Now we know we got to put something in there, or else we're going to have some all kinds of problems. So right. might not, get a little stinky. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So we need to change the liquid. So what liquid could we use that wouldn't have any extra ingredients in it? Water. Yes. Wonderful Pure job. Water. There you go. Okay. So that we could. That sounds really easy now. I know. That you explain that. I know. Now the last variable. Okay. Because if we look here first. Uh, there's four variables. We have number one, we have the IV. Number two, we have the DV. Number three, we have the control, which we just talked about. And then the fourth one is the constant, is what we constantly keep the same. So now let's go back to the bird feeder. Okay, science fair project actually we placed with in the past. Um, now, what would you need to keep the same? Well, Mrs. LaRue, I'm a little confused because you only need one IDV, you only need one DV, you only need one control group, but I feel like I could come up with a few constants. And that so is I'm good. Yes, and you do. That is correct. You want at least three. Oh, good, because I could come up with three and maybe even more. Okay, well, what do you got? Okay. So, so what do we got to keep the same? We're do talking about the bird feeder, right? Yes, we are. Okay, so bird feeder, you definitely want to keep the time that the bird seed is outside the same. Correct. Okay. Um, what else? You might also want to make sure that the mass of the bird seed to start out with is always the same. That would definitely make a difference, wouldn't it? Right. right. Okay. What about location? The same location. The same Loc bird feeder. Yes. Those are great. Yes. Those, those are gonna... great examples. Now, on the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Oh, this is going to be different. What would you need to keep the same on that one? Well, when I visualize doing this in class, I really see using that hot plate to heat up the substances. So I would want to use the same hot plate. Absolutely. I'd also want to have the same temperature on the hot plate because you know how the dial it has yes, low. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe you'll just keep it at medium for all of the substances. Um, what about the same amount of liquid you use? Yes, Mrs. LaRue. I know, I know. Yes, that would... What about the same container? Because, you know, if you put it in a beaker, it has more opening at the top. Right. If you use a flask, it's got a sh smaller opening at the top. Right, okay. and all also different surface area on the oh bottom. Oh, my gosh. So oh, my gosh. So that would be really important. Oh, my the gosh. The container would need to be You're the on same fire. Size. You're on fire. <sighs> Katie! It's it's you. It's all you, Oh, Mrs. I know, I know. I know. It's just crazy. I feel so much smarter just being in your presence. Okay. So you know what you're going to do? This is what you can do this. No problem. Okay. So tomorrow, I want you to describe the importance of having an independent variable. Why is that important? Okay. Don't say it right now. Okay. Dependent variable. Why do we have to have that in an experiment? Why is it important to have a control? Why? Okay. In constants. Why did this, why are all four of these ingredients so important in a science fair or in an experiment period? Okay. So why do we need those? Describe those. And I think I can do that, Mrs. Lerner. Okay. Do you want me to write that in complete sentences? Yes, you do. Okay. Absolutely. And is there any minimum or just as long as it exists? Whatever you feel like covers it. Okay. And we will discuss it tomorrow. Okay. All right. Great. All right. Well, everybody, thank you uh, for having uh, Miss Katie Keck. Thank you. I feel really honored to be here. We, we're very happy to have you. Thank you for coming. Da na na na, da na na na, da na na na, da na na na.